everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today. My name is Olivia. Um, I work in the communications and marketing department here at House, um, and I'm going to be your host for today's webinar on the 2019 House and Home Australia study. Um, so in this session, we will be looking at the findings of the report to see what homeowners are doing with their homes. Um, but just for a little bit of housekeeping before we begin, I just want to let you know that this webinar is recorded um, and the recording will be sent to your email afterwards. So if you miss anything or you're taking notes, don't panic. Um, if you have any questions for me, just submit them through the chat or questions box on the right hand side of your screen. Um, I'm the only one here today, so I'll be able to answer those questions at the end of the webinar. Um, but you should be able to see the title slide on your screen now. Um, if there's any issues, um, just let me know, but I think it should be fine for everyone. Perfect. So I've hosted a few of these webinars now, so you may already know the little spiel um, about house and what house is. Uh, but if there is anyone here that's new, this is just a little bit of information about our website. Um, so House is the leading platform for home renovation and design, and it provides everything that homeowners need to improve their homes from start to finish, um, online or from a mobile device. So we have a very vibrant community, which is why we're able to pull um, and run these reports. Um, but House is also the easiest way for homeowners to find and renovation enthusiasts to find home professionals um, that they need for their home project um, and also just to find amazing design inspiration or product information just so that they're able to turn their design ideas into a reality. So it was founded in 2009 um, by Adi and Alon, a husband and wife duo, um, who were in the midst of renovating their own home um, and they just wished to have a place where they could store all of their information, and save all of their ideas. Um, so from their house was born um, and from it's since grown to have five really distinct layers, photos, professionals, products, advice and stories. Um, and these five layers um, create a very integrated experience for homeowners and professionals alike. Um, so from this we now have 40 million uh, monthly users globally, 2.5 active, uh, sorry 2.4 apologies, um, active million uh, home professionals in our directory and over 19 million images to browse from. So this is our agenda for today. Um, so we're going to look at interior and exterior trends that we're seeing um, in the home. Um, we're going to look at the priorities in home renovation, um, some micro trends and some more of the macro trends. Um, we're then going to look at motivations for renovating. Why are people renovating now? What is the reason for it? Um, we're going to look at the professional involvement that uh, in 2018. So the homeowners that hire professionals, what professionals were they? How many of them hired professionals? Um, and then finally, we'll look at what's planned for the remainder of 2019. Obviously, we're already in October. Um, this report came out in August, so it is a a little bit late but I'll be able to show you what we can see for 2019 and that will sort of um, head into 2020 as well. So the House and Home Survey is one of two annual surveys that we produce. Um, the other survey is the State of the Industry Report which provides a review on the performance of renovation and design businesses. Um, so you can find all of our research on House. Uh, if you hover over stories, um, you'll see a drop down and you'll see House Research just here in red. Um, and you can click on that and you'll see all of our current and past reports that we've that we've run. All right, so <clears throat> a little bit about the survey that we're going to talk about. Um, so the House and Home Report is the largest survey of residential renovating building and decorating activity published. Um, this year in Australia, we had over 8,800 respondents. Um, so the survey covers a wide range of renovation projects in 2018, from interior renovations and additions to home systems, exterior upgrades and outdoor projects as well. So we'll dive into the findings from uh, the report this year. So despite what's been um, sort of a somewhat turbulent year for Australian uh, economy and the property market, 
Um, we can see the renovation activity has actually remained very strong throughout the year. 50% of homeowners renovated their home in 2018, um, an average of three rooms per project, um, and the overall median spend was 20,000. Um, so this is a really positive sign that the renovation industry is still going really strong. One in two homeowners on house that took the survey, which is I'll remind you, nearly 9,000 respondents um, re renovated their home in the past year, which only reiterates that house is a very targeted, engaged audience of homeowners, often in the renovation cycle, whether that be they've just renovated, they're looking at renovating, or they're currently renovating now. Um, and this can be obviously very good for your uh, renovation or design business to get in front of these homeowners. Um, so renovation activity was led by baby boomers with 40% of them renovating, um, and it was followed very closely by Gen X's, um, 39%. Um, so boomers are spending approximately 21,000 median spend per renovation, and there doesn't appear to be any slowing down um, with 35% of them anticipating new projects. And meanwhile, Gen X's are spending the most per renovation, a median spend of 23,000 per renovation. 41% um, of them are anticipating new projects as well. So we can see that these two um, age groups are the ones that are really driving the renovation trend in Australia. At the high end of the market, renovation spend in the 90th percentile, which is essentially the top 10%, um, reached 180,000. Um, and this has been increasing annually. Um, so last year was 150,000, the year before that was 140,000, um, which again is showing that there's really high confidence from renovators in the higher end of the market. So looking at where we focus our efforts, the kitchen continues to reign in popularity uh, with over one quarter of respondents renovating the room in 2018. Um, we also saw a 16% increase in renovation spend for the kitchen um, this year to a median spend of 20,000. So when you see a median spend of 20,000 just on kitchens alone, you can see how homeowners are start heading towards that 90th percentile spend in the hundreds of thousands. Um, so followed closely by this uh, was the living room. 23% uh, of um, homeowners renovated this space in 2018. Um, and then all equally popular this year uh, were bedrooms, bathrooms and laundries. So evidently it's the functional um, or common areas of the home that uh, get the most attention in a renovation. Um, and then some data that is quite unique to Australia and also New Zealand um, is we have some of the highest numbers of outdoor projects internationally. So 59% of respondents worked on some form of outdoor project in 2018. Um, we can attribute a lot of this to our climate and our lifestyle, um, but also it could also be because of our land sizes. Um, Australia is renowned for having bigger land lot sizes. So our principal economist, Nino Sicinava, um, we have a team of economic uh, economists sorry, in, that run in the US, um, and they are able to look at the data as well, look at uh, the global economic trends, um, and just sort of explain a little bit more about what's happening to the renovation industry. So this was a quote quote from Nino. Um, so despite a number of headwinds for the global and national economy, renovation activity continued to keep pace in 2018 and will likely experience a robust growth in 2019. Pent up demand continues to drive renovation activity while spend on discretionary projects such as kitchens continues to grow, signal, signal, sorry, signaling strength in uh, consumer confidence. Um, so on house, we don't just have homeowners that are renovating. We also have a lot of users that are looking to decorate their home. So 53% of respondents decorated their home in 2018. Um, but we do see that renovating and decorating seem to go hand in hand with two thirds of renovating homeowners um, in 2018 also decorating or furnishing their home within that same year. Um, so broken up by uh, the generations again, we did see that millennials were more likely to decorate following uh, immediately following a renovation um, than baby boomers were. So that was 73% versus 60%. 
but overall we are seeing that houses also used as a source of inspiration for decoration and also finding pro professionals that can help you decorate your home if you're not looking to renovate just yet. So why are we doing these home projects now? A lot of our motivation is a pent up um, desire to renovate and decorate the home. As you can see, the uh, top reason for renovating now is that they wanted to do it along and finally have, finally have the time. Um, and then close in line to that is um, finally having the financial means. Um, so we see these as sort of the top motivators year on year. Um, and again, yeah, it's a lot of this sort of People want to renovate their home, they are saving money to do it, um, they're planning the time to do it, and that's why they want to renovate. What we are seeing is millennials are wanting to customise a recently purchased home more than other generations. So you can see 43% have said that this is their top um, motivation for renovating their home. Um, and this ties into millennials also wanting to decorate for, uh, following a home renovation because they obviously want to customise the home um, and make it a space that they have designed and thought out. To fund our home projects, 76% of renovating homeowners use cash. Um, again, reinforcing this idea of pent up desire, people want to renovate and they are saving the money to do it. 19% um, of renovating homeowners used credit cards and then 13% relied on a home mortgage uh, refinance. Um, millennials use cash or savings to fund their home projects more than older generations. Um, so that was 86% versus 74 and 73%. Um, we also saw a slightly higher reliance on credit cards in millennials than in older generations. However, Millennials are also less likely than older generations to use cash from a previous home sale, which we can kind of expect that most millennials haven't already bought a home and sold it by the time they're looking to renovate. Um, so when we look at what we want from our renovations, the top priorities are improving uh, design, look and feel, as well as improving functionality. Um, over increasing resale value, although this is obviously still a high priority as well. Um, improving energy efficiency is also a significant priority for homeowners as they are more conscious about saving money um, and also more sustainable options for the home. Um, so we're seeing this and this is obviously really evident in um, baby boomers as well. Um, and then other more micro priorities that we are seeing come to the forefront for homeowners um, include the integration of green materials and also integrating smart technology. Um, obviously, these are more micro, they aren't the main priority, but we are seeing um, slight increases in these when we are year on year. Um, so interesting, interestingly, a lot of these micro trends are actually a higher priority for baby boomers over millennials, um, most likely because they have the money to make it a priority, um, whereas millennials might be focusing on uh, more, more functional aspect of the home. Um, but that said, we are still seeing millennials incorporating the most home assistants in their home. So uh, Google Home and Alexas, um, it's the millennials that are installing those in the home. Um, perfect. So the biggest challenge for homeowners uh, completing a home project is finding the right service providers. So this is where you guys as home improvement professionals step in. Um, as we've mentioned in other webinars, it's really important to keep your house profile up to date, uploading good quality photos of your finished projects and also just making sure you're outlining your field of work. This will help the homeowner in their search to find uh, the right professional for the job. So homeowners also struggle um, with sourcing the right products for the renovation. Um, so it's important as a professional to guide them to recommended products that you use um, and gain uh, their trust um, by giving them knowledge and expertise that they wouldn't, they wouldn't have themselves. Um, and then lastly, obviously staying on budget can be very challenging for homeowners, particularly if there are unexpected costs, um, delays and changes to the home project. As a professional, it is good to manage expectations from the start and always be transparent about finances. This will help the homeowner stay on budget while they're doing their renovation project. Obviously, there's always going to be unexpected costs. So 
uh, you may want to tell the homeowner that you've added an extra uh, sum of money um, to cover any unexpected costs. Um, and then what we saw from the report was that for millennials staying on budget and actually funding the project were the, was their biggest challenge. Um, obviously they want to save more money, um, but it might be harder for them if they're in a lower um, sort of household income. So professional involvement was high again this year at 90%. Um, baby boomers called in the most help for, from professionals at 93% and then Gen Xers were at 90. Given they lead the renovation activity, it's no surprise that they are most likely working on bigger home projects um, that require more professional help. Um, so the, what we did also see is that uh, electron Electricians, plumbers, and carpenters were in the greatest demand in 2018. Um, but more specific pros that were hired in 2018 included builders, uh, landscape contractors or gardeners, um, kitchen designers, and also architects, as well as a few others as well. So what we're planning for the remainder of 2019, um, still very strong, nearly half of respondents are already planning to renovate this early on. Um, obviously we fielded this survey quite a while ago, so a lot of these people were probably already in the renovation process now. Um, two fifths, so planning to uh, decorate. The planned renovation spend is 15,000, um, but we do often see homeowners go over their budget around 30%. Um, so we should be on track to see a similar median spend next year. Um, again, though, the 90th percentile spend is expected to increase to 200K, indicating that consumer confidence is really high for those high-end projects, but they're also more likely um, already working on the project when this survey was run. So they probably already have the anticipated cost of what they're going to spend on their renovation. So we'll just look at some of the demographics and the data of our users and characteristics of their home as well. Um, so as we can see, the majority of homes on house were built between 1981 and 2000, and a significant amount of others built between 1961 and 1980. So these 20 to 50 year old homes um, that are people uh, are what people are looking to renovate, um, probably because at this stage, um, they start becoming quite dated and usually start requiring repairs and improvements to the home. Um, most of the home types are uh, detached single houses, but we also see a few townhouses and also duplex. Um, and then the home value is roughly between, well, the most home value is between 500 to a million, uh, but we do also see over a third um, at a million or higher here in Australia, obviously. Home pro properties are quite expensive here. Um, we have a fairly affluent user base on house, um, which may be really positive for you guys. Many of our users are homeowners and quite often in the renovation cycle, as I said earlier. Um, so that is they're looking to renovate plan or planning a renovation or they're already currently renovating. Um, more than a third of respondents have a household income of higher than 150,000. Many of them married or in a de facto relationship and half of them have children. So what are the key takeaways from today and from the report? Well, firstly, we can see that renovation activity has remained strong despite national and global headwinds from the economy and property market. We know that older generations were the biggest renovators this year, um, so baby boomers and Generation X. Um, kitchens are where homeowners focus most of their efforts, both in popularity but also increasing uh, median spend. And lastly, we can see that we need professional help for these home projects. Um, this is one of our biggest challenges um, that we see. And also we are already seeing nine out of 10 of these renovating homeowners hire professionals for their home projects. Um, so the last item before we wrap up, I did just want to take a minute to introduce you to our very, uh, very quickly to our power package solution, which is a marketing program that we have available to our professionals. Um, it includes several terrific features that allow you to take full advantage of the house platform going beyond what you get with a free profile. Um, but most importantly, we put your business in front of those homeowners, these homeowners that have been speaking about today um, that are in those key markets and they're looking to renovate. And we also work with you to build a brand through your through our enhanced professional profile. Um, so we have mobile and SEO friendly um, mobile uh, sorry websites um, that will help you create um, this great designed 
website to showcase your work um, and your expertise and your experience. Um, and the difference obviously between having a pre free profile and having um, the ProClass Power Package is obviously quite a lot. Um, so you can really take advantage of um, the Power Package and getting in front of those, um, of those homeowners and getting uh, quality leads, uh, as well as obviously the designed website as well. Um, but that is all for today. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar.